Hello, and welcome to Rehab and Recovery with Dr. Miles Sandoval. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are talking about the fifth principle of neuroplasticity in addiction recovery. And that principle is the idea that intensity matters in the practice of recovery. So it might not be as easily intuitive on how you can make your recovery more intense because it's not a physical workout, right? But consider the practice of refusing urges in addiction recovery. Urges are something that are not universally, but are commonly experienced in addiction recovery. And if you break them down, urges can vary in kind of their intensity, their frequency, and their duration are how long they last. And so if you did look at the practice of recovery as a muscle to strengthen, the idea that intensity matters can translate to your practice of refusing urges. And especially if you're in early recovery, you might be getting hit with really, really frequent, really, really strong urges that feel unmanageable. And that's a really tough place to be. But if you think of recovery as a muscle that you're working to strengthen, Pay attention the next time you experience uh, a little urge or an urge that's less intense so that it doesn't feel so overwhelming. And then your practice in flexing your recovery muscle there is to take that little urge or that urge that's not so intense and just flick it right out of the way right? Brush that dirt off your shoulder. And you can do that in a number of ways. My favorite tool, because it's always available, is mindfulness of breath. So refocusing the attention from wherever it is or from whatever substance you want to use or the place that you're going to go to get it. Take a moment, pause, and kind of like I've talked about in in a couple videos ago about how to cope when you're feeling bored or unengaged. Take a moment to look at the world around you and see if you can notice a couple birds flying around in the trees outside or see if you can notice the smell of the trees or the grass in the area around you if you are outside or even just pause and notice the quality of your own breathing. Because as soon as you come back into the present, you're not doing that cyclic rumination that feeds our urges or makes them stronger. And I think there's something really empowering in proving to yourself that you can cope with an urge that you can sit through an urge. Because if you can sit through an urge that is of low intensity, it's the same muscle that you use to sit through an urge of high intensity. And you may just have to build up that muscle or that practice so that those high intensity urges stop feeling so completely overwhelming or unmanageable. So please stay tuned for the next video, which is on the sixth principle of neuroplasticity, time matters. We'll talk a little bit more about that one. 
Thank you so much for watching today. Please like, subscribe, and share with somebody who might be going through that early recovery urge kind of roller coaster. <laughs>